Welcome to this extra video. In this video, I will give a two-line proof of the convergence in expectation that, have been see that we have seen in the previous uh, video. So what's the rule? The learning rule is if, sorry, we, we use this update rule one, delta Q is R minus Q times eta. And now let's look at the theorem. If this learning rule one has converged in expectation, then Q of SA has an expectation value, which is the desired one. So let's do this. So what's the hypothesis? If this update rule one has converged in expectation, so what's the hypothesis? The hypothesis is that the expectation of delta Q has converged. And that means it's equal zero. So then let's write this out. Expectation delta Q hat as a equals zero. And that's the expectation of eta times R minus Q hat of SA, and this is zero. Now, eta here is just a multiplier. So we can move it in front, and that means also we can neglect it because if I move this in front and make it equal to zero, that means I can remove it. Now what remains is a sum. Now the expectation is a linear operation. So I apply it to the sum. This gives me the expectation RT minus the expectation Q hat SA. Well, this one can be moved to the other side. The expectation of Q hat S A is the expectation of the reward, starting in state S and taking action A. And then we now just look again at the graph up here. Say S A, say we take this branch here, Q of S a1, then we would have a branching ratio. So I evaluate this. I have the branching ratio. I sum over all possible states S prime, P A1, S to S prime. And then I multiply with the rewards I get respectively for these transitions. And this is R, R A s to s prime and this should not be a one i want it for arbitrary a and now if you compare with the formulas we already have derived this is the definition of q of s a so in expectation my empirical estimate Q hat of SA is the real thing, Q of SA. And that's what I wanted to prove. Now, of course, here I took expectations. Now, expectations is averaging over many things. In each individual step, I have this fact factor eta. And sub suppose the real Q value has a value of 0.3, but in two of three trials, the reward is zero, and in one of three trials, it's equal to one. Then you would see that, yeah, it will average to one third, but uh, sometimes it goes a bit up and sometimes it goes down again. So the fluctuations, the amount, the amplitude of the fluctuations will depend on eta. But in expectation, and that was the claim, my Estimated Q value is the real one. 